Welcome everyone. Day two of the Mechanical Celesta build. Got our sort of chain drive frame in place and as you can probably tell based on the uh, selection of pizzas here, we get to build a chain today. So what my plan is is to do build one section because it, it lets you... you basically I'm going to be doing the same thing 19, 20 times I guess or 19 times. So I'm going to do the one section to show you the original build, then I'm going to do the rest of the sections, then I'll come back and join it together in regular time. But in the when I do all the rest of the sections, I'm going to do it at high speed. I don't even know 10 or 20 times as fast, depending on how long it, each place takes. Uh, there are subtle differences between the pieces. Let me show you the differences before I get started on the actual build. Zoom in on in here. Say, as you see, one end, one of them has a split on the end. The other one is solid. And that's the same on both ends. Maybe you can tell that the camera. There he goes. And on these, nineteen. Whoop! Come back here. Has a slightly smaller square hole than eighteen. So 19 goes on the outside edge, where 18 goes on the inter internal part. So I'm trying to keep all these pieces segregated and separated so I can keep them straight. But we start off with one of these and one of these. We're going to end up alternating them. Then I'll need four of these. And two 18s. So basically... Take this guy all the way down on both ends. Both of them. Then we take the circular end, goes through the split piece. And this is going to be where I mess up. <laughs> and the solid end goes through the square piece and that's going to go all the way down well get them to agree and then you do it doesn't even tell you how many times you didn't do that i think you just do that until you run out of parts but the actual mechanism is four <laughs> so i'm going to do One more, and then I'll combine it, and then we'll move into the high-speed section of the video. <laughs> I've got some practice with that on my other channel when I build the Legos. Okay, so the circle goes to the split end. And then the square goes through the solid end. They do have to go on simultaneously. Then we take them, line them up as. Oh, wrong place. Split, solid, split, solid. And then we take a 19. And on this one, this goes on the solid end. It's the circle, the split end gets that, solid end on the circle, split end on the other end. All right, so we got one section done. Now, I'm going to stop there and you'll watch this get done. Like it says, I don't know if it's 18 more times or 19 more times. Oh, okay, it does say to do the, the two-section thing 20 times. <laughs> so I will probably... You'll probably see me do the two-section thing 20 times or 19, 18 more times and then do this 19 times at high speed. Um, I say unless, unless I do something silly like break something, I won't stop. All right, so I'll see you 
when I'm done doing that when we can join them all together. Okay, I'll be honest, that went much better than I thought it was going to. It only took it took less than 10 minutes. Once I got into a rhythm, it wasn't that bad making these first parts. Like I say, now I gotta combine them to make those, so I'll hop back into high speed and do that. Now, just wanted to stop for a second and say, okay, not awful. Like I say, I thought it was gonna take much longer than that. <laughs> so let's jump back in. Okay, once again, not near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm less than three minutes getting it done. And we got all these guys made up. So, let's see here. And now we want to Sure, they're alternating still the solid and split. 
And basically, so I'm gonna line that up before we get. Give me one less thing to think about while I'm actually in the building process. <laughs> And that. Okay, that ends on the solid and starts on a split, so I can do that through that. And we're, I, you know, and that one actually, my battery is about to go out on me, so let me swap that out and I'll be right back and we'll just do all this in real time because I don't think it seemed like that went really well. All right, now it should just be a matter of, let's say, combining all these four sections into one solid piece and I gotta remember how am I doing I'm doing solid solid on the square round on the, the no split on the square round on the solid okay so you're not lining up spoke too soon about it being too easy <laughs> okay so, so just okay that's what I did wrong I just need to do them one at a time yeah there you go that's much more cooperative mm -hmm. On first, Put the round one on. All right, now we're cooking. should be two spare ones that we're going to use to combine them into a one universal link after we get it mounted into the machine. I'll be honest, I was, after working on that pinball machine and the uh, book nook, I was hesitant to start on this one, but I'm finding myself getting more and more excited about it. Because I'm having fun with this. I, I do always enjoy these mechanical builds. Just sometimes you gotta, you never know how the mood's gonna be when you start on a project like this. But this, you know, so I sort of, I wasn't sure about. I was starting to get excited a little bit just on just building that frame last time. So I'm, I'm glad I opted for this one instead of my other ones. I got a couple of things picked out. I got one that's different from anything I've done before, and I'm. Um, Intrigued by it because I think it's a new set. It's, it's, it's another U gear set. It's nothing I hadn't seen noticed before I don't know if I just I didn't notice them or if they're they're a new product But it's a uh, it looks interesting and it should be a, a pretty easy build So I'll, I'll throw that one in after I get done with this one and there we go folks got a continuous chain And two extra spokes to line them up and they do end up with one solid and one and it is as flexible as you'd expect something like this to be made out of wood uh, well now i just want to see how much it'll roll up <laughs> i don't know why i want to see that but i do maybe so i can see it unroll yeah it goes in pretty tight and then oh well that was underwhelming <laughs> Good. and it comes out smooth yeah that's, that's good cool I'll say I, this took, went much faster than I thought it was going to I didn't I was sort of just I'm, let's say I'm amazed it went as quick as it did and still you know especially with the, the high speed aspect of things and you're supposed to grease this up I'm trying to decide if I want to do that now. I think I do want to do that now. So I'm going to pull out a tray here. And I think it'd be easier to grease 
like this than after it's on the machine. And I'm just going to hit one side of it because that's because doing the top side is going to be the inside, and that's where all the friction is going to be. So, yeah, yeah, so let's see. Let me double check. Where is it? Yeah, it's actually. Ironically, it says you don't have to grease the middle one, but that'll be the one. I'm going to hit all three links just to, you know, let, let the grease flow. <laughs> See, it's mainly saying concentrate on the middle, the, the inner one and the outer one. But as I say, when doing it like this, it's just easier to hit everything. And the, the grease will spread once it gets rolling into the through the sprocket and all that good stuff. Okay, so I'll spread that out real good. And I am digging this. I bought this sort of just to experiment with to see if it was any better than the uh, Vaseline, and it it does seem to be. It's a uh, it seems to be more a little more spreadable. <laughs> and goes in pretty nicely. And you know, it says I think it's. Honestly, I think it's been whipped more. So I think there's more it's been more aerated, so it's just a little more flexible. This is probably what part y'all wished I would fast forward through. <laughs> here, I just want to make sure I get all these real good because I do want. I I want to be able to play beautiful music when I'm done with it. <laughs> sure everything's hit which I think it did and then work my way back down the other side Truth be told, if I'd known it was going to go this fast, I would have done all this in real time. But I had music going <laughs> in the background when I was doing that first build, so I don't want to. So, not that I'm making any real money on these things, but uh, you know, I don't want to get a copyright strike this early on. <laughs> I hear other YouTubers talking about that, and I don't really understand all the ins and outs of it, but I understand it's something I don't want. So, <laughs> especially since I literally just got monetized like three weeks ago. <laughs> All right, so got our chain lubed up and it says in the instructions to make sure you go in, no, the solid side, the solid end goes in first. I don't know why that matters, but they say that's how it is, so that's how I'm going to do it. And it's supposed to 
that in and like you would expect sort of wrap it around here probably line it up with those sprockets <laughs> and bring this guy up and we'll make a continuous chain with both sprockets. I can't really show you, but they, yeah, yeah, they're, 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 they're both moving. <laughs> so that's cool. Oh, I guess I could do it from down here and maybe let gravity do some, sort of spread that. Make sure we get all the lube everywhere we need it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. Doing more over here than it is over there because I'm going from that side, but there. <laughs> all right. I don't think, I don't think you're going to be all right. <laughs> okay. Like that. And that takes us through page 15. Let's see what's on page 16. Okay. Oh. This is not going at all how I thought it was going to go. Interesting. It appears that our chain is going to end up going inside here. Like that. Oh, cool. I, I, looking at the picture, I see that now, but I didn't, it didn't. Oh, yeah, I want to go. I want to do that tonight. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull. It's only like four pieces, four, six, eight pieces. So I'm going to pull that and I'm going to be right back and we're going to do that tonight. Okay, it was 11 pieces. I still, so I think it's going to be well worth the time investment. Get these together. And then the big one goes in. There's some teeny tiny dots in the interior. They're supposed to line up with the main shaft. And same over here. Okay. All right, so those are gonna be chain guides. I thought that was gonna be the things what you, sp you spun it with, no. Then, got the ones with the dots on there. That's once again, line up with the shaft. Go all the way in. Or you will go all the way in once I grab my tool and start shoving on you. <laughs> there it goes. It's got to be a little persuasive. Mechanically persuasive for me. <laughs> page two. Let's see here. This is supposed to... No, it must be the littler one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this one goes here. And actually, okay, we put it all the way in to the mechanism. And then we add the little dots to the outside, sort of like we did with these guides here. So this is supposed to pop you in there. Or wait, am I supposed to wax that? <laughs> Let's see here. 
<laughs> okay, I am supposed to wax, or I say wax, lube these on the outside, but not the big ones. So around here, yes, lube. Too hard. That's okay. Okay. You there now. Drop this down in there, supposedly. Get it lined up in the chain. Does sort of float there a little bit, so we can, in theory, pop this thing in there. Yep, that's gonna go. Excellent. Probably should have lubed that up before I did that. I can I move you? <laughs> no, I can't. Okay, let's see. it. Again, a little wedging in there, and I'm gonna get the this right quick. Hopefully it'll spread. And I'll do it properly on the next one. Now while this is over here. Yeah, you're supposed to lube that piece, but I, don't, I can't imagine trying to hang on to that while you're if it's lubed up and you're forcing it in. <laughs> I'm just gonna out of this real good. And hope I don't pay the price for that on the other side. <laughs> okay. Well, we got our chain guide and our sprockets and I don't really have any way to spin it naturally. <laughs> But everything appears to be lined up. Can I get it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's... Everybody's cooperating. Work that in a little bit and it'll... Let that lube spread out some. And yeah. yeah. I got one side on here that's not... Oh, it's this one. This one link is not spinning correctly. This, you'd be nice. <laughs> hmm. Okay, that's that's right. That's, they're they're doing that. I mean, it's not that link. Okay, there's one at the bottom. <laughs> okay, yeah. So spread them. Out. Let them run up for a little bit and sort of like say work all the blue bin everywhere it needs to be and. Get all those, yeah. Yeah, I think this is... Alright, I like it. I like it when stuff works out together. <laughs> Alright, folks, I'm going to call it quits there. I think that's, like I say, that's, that's more progress than I thought I was going to get tonight. And I'm pleased with how quickly that went together. And actually how easy that chain was to make. I was, like I say, I'm still surprised how nice that worked. Uh... But anyways, oh, uh, now I'm sure where, where's that? Oh, the crank goes. The crank must tie in over here, because I can see it over there on the picture, but not. It's not. It's not close to this part. All right. So, anyways, folks, you know how I roll. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share, do whatever you want to with all of that. Be good to one another. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.